is fucking D-Day, y'all. Finally. So today we are, of course, doing another Target vlog slash unboxing. And for today's unboxing, it is BTS. Oh my god. If you guys have been following my channel for a while, y'all know that I'm a BTS stan, obviously. And I've been dying for a BTS comeback. I've pretty much set this in like fucking every video I make about BTS but it's finally here and I'm so excited so today we're gonna be getting the proof albums we are actually already here at Target there she is in all its glory I couldn't film my intro before I arrived here so here I am in the Target parking lot there's the standard version which is fucking $65 like like what I mean, I get why it's $65, I guess. It has like three CDs. It's like supposedly in this luxurious, nice box. The $65. I don't know. I'm going to try and price match though, to be honest, because as much as I love collecting albums and supporting my favorite artists and stuff like that, $65 is a little kind of a lot so i'm gonna try and price match it with like amazon or something and then there's also the compact version which is like the smaller one it's like 20 dollars, so that's fine and yeah oh my god it's also freaking early in the morning um i mean i usually do my target vlogs this early but last night i got like three hours of sleep because i fell asleep at like four and then i woke up at like 7 30 so i'm exhausted but regardless yeah i'm so excited Ugh. This comeback is so good already. Okay, let's go. This is literally how far I park, by the way. Just so that I don't get people staring at me filming, but... Ooh, release day! is massive bruh oh my god the compact version is so pretty oh my god there it is y'all sorry i have to put it on the floor but yay dude this thing is so heavy <laughs> okay let's go get it hopefully this price match works please Okay, you guys! Mission success, y'all. Okay, so I actually didn't go through the self-checkout for once. I actually had to go to one of those like normal registers because there wasn't an employee around to ask. And luckily I got this super chill gal. She just did the price match right then and there. No issues, which I'm so relieved by because yesterday actually I went to a different Target to get a 17 album. So I went to Target and I tried to price match, but then the freaking employee was like, Oh, since it's a Target exclusive, it's actually different, so we can't price match. And I was like, like why <laughs> please it's the same thing you know so i was a little scared now because that was the first time i got rejected for a price match but this isn't a target exclusive thing so i guess they technically can't use that excuse anyways so yes i did get my album wait it says regular price 69.99 oh my god this thing is 70 dollars originally i did get it for 45 dollars instead which is still a lot but like significantly less you know i didn't want to be like too shady like jumping from 70 to like 20 dollars so yeah i'm still very happy that i was able to get it and then also i had a target circle coupon for like 10 dollars off purchases of 60 dollars so yeah in total i got both of these albums for 57 dollars which i think is a pretty good deal considering this is usually 70 and this is usually like 22 yes okay as i mentioned before look at how fucking massive this thing is though like it's so heavy it's so heavy oh my goodness this is literally like a concert dvd or concert cd you know 
or like a giant photo book. I guess that's why it's so goddamn expensive, but I am very excited to open this though. Just seeing all the hype for it leading up to this day, it's finally here, it's what it looks like. But yeah, that was the standard edition and then we have the compact version, which is kind of like a normal, like smaller album packaging, you know? Look at the hollow in the front though, like, that's so pretty. Why didn't they put that for the standard one? I wonder why, but, but yes. Okay, those were the albums and let's just go ahead and go home and unbox them. Woo! All right, here we are. Welcome to the unboxing portion of this video. Yeah, here we have a BTS's proof. Oh my God, I can't believe I'm finally doing another BTS unboxing. It feels like it's been so long, but yes, we do have both of the versions here. This is the standard edition, and then this is the compact edition. I did get these from Target, so I'm not sure if there's a difference between like these ones and like ones from like a K-pop store from Korea. I don't know if there's like an international press versus a Korean press. I guess we'll go ahead and find out, but yeah. I guess we can just go ahead and start with the standard edition. Oh my goodness. I am so excited to open this. This thing is like massive, as I said. Let me just do a quick little 360 of this ginormous box. This doesn't even feel like an album. I can't believe this is like an album, you know? This feels like a special like concert DVD or something because of its ginormous size, but okay. Oh my God, it's so heavy. And then here is the box. Oh my God, okay. Oh, okay, this is fancy. We got this little ribbon out. Oh, so yes, that is the box. It just opens up in the middle like that. That is so fancy, oh my goodness. Whoa, wait, there's actually so much stuff in here, dang. I think all the inclusions are in this envelope, so we can just put that to the side. Where do we even begin? Oh my lordy. There's so many like books and stuff. I think this is maybe the main photo book. I totally forgot about what's exactly in this album, so forgive me. Okay, so we're gonna start off with this photo book right here. Okay. Let's see. Oh, wait. Oh my god, okay. Judging from my little flip through, it seems like it's gonna be like a memory photo book sort of thing of their past eras and stuff. So I'm so excited. I love stuff like this. I mean, it does make sense because this is their... Okay, sorry, I zoomed out a bit, but... Oh, whoa. This thing flips out into beyond the scene okay so yeah considering this is an anthology album i think that's how it's pronounced anthology anthology where it's kind of like a compilation of like their hits and like it's basically like a the best album you know that people typically do which is super exciting <gasps> wow okay so here's all of their album art starting from the beginning oh my goodness it truly is a walk down memory lane Oh my god. I love stuff like this. Just like the nostalgia and just looking back at it. I think it's so cool. So yeah, here we have another BTS comeback. This time they did a special, like I said, anthology or anthology album. And yeah, and along with that, they released three new songs. Technically, I guess four if you count Born Singer, but I know Born Singer has been out for like since her debut just not officially out on like streaming sites and stuff so yeah but although in the beginning i was like low-key sad that like we weren't getting a whole new like full album in the beginning because again i've been dying for more bts music but honestly though like the three new songs that they came out with totally makes up for that because holy crap this the songs that they released it's so good. They're so good. Oh my god. I'm actually obsessed. So here we have their Love Yourself eras. These like graphics are so cool though. We have the map of the soul. Oh my god. I remember like literally unboxing these albums on my channel when they first came out. Yeah, this is also the first time I've done like a Target vlog for a BTS album. 
I've always bought my albums from Target for BTS, but I've never done a Target vlog actually because I started my Target vlogs after their last album, which was B, and I didn't do an unboxing for Butter. So yeah, can't believe I'm finally doing one for BTS. Ooh. Oh, are these like their achievements and such? That's so cute. Wow. It really is like a look back into their whole career. Oh my god, we got some like concert photos too. What? Oh, it's like the promotional stuff for their their previous tours. Love that. Speech. Oh, when they gave speeches at these different events. Wow, this is literally like a scrapbook. I wonder if like the members have looked through these albums because I feel like it'll be so sentimental looking through it. This overall is like such a sentimental uh, album, which I really like. Ooh, maybe they're involved in the creative process. That's so cute. All the photos. Oh, and here's little quotes from RM. Now we are truly bulletproof, proof, hence the name of the album. So yeah, that was like a little memory book. That was really cute. All right, now I feel like this is like where all the concept photos are, judging by the cover, because these look like the teaser photos. Oh my God, super excited. <gasps> oh my God, oh, this is not even the first page, whoops. <laughs> Oh my god, when these photos drop though, they really are in their emo bag. I am here for it though. And like the whole like, the background, the kind of like a target or like a shield with all like the little bullet holes and stuff like that because they're bulletproof, yo, love it. But yeah, anyways, as I was saying, I absolutely am obsessed with all of the songs that, the new songs that came out with this, oh my god. It literally came out last night, so it hasn't even been a whole 24 hours since I got to process the new songs. So obviously my thoughts can change and all that, but just judging on what I've been listening to these past couple of hours, I freaking am obsessed. Like I'm just, first of all, super happy that we got some new BTS music. I've been dying for some new music, but oh my God, I just can't explain. Like all the songs are so good. Yet to Come, which is the title track, kind of had to grow on me like after the first listen because I was a little confused on like the structure of the song. I didn't know where it was going exactly, but the second listen on like, oh my God, it's so good. Like this is honestly the kind of music I've been kind of wanting nowadays. I don't know. I've been really wanting like more laid back, chill, sentimental type of music, slower songs. So I definitely have been like really resonating with new music. Yeah, and then, oh my god, Two Youth, like, y'all, that is probably my favorite song out of the three new ones, like, I literally can't stop listening to it. I literally have been putting these songs on repeat since last night it came out, and oh my god, Two Youth is by far my favorite one, like, the way they just start off with um, Young Forever, the epilogue, in the beginning at, a, like, a concert with the fans, and then... The song just like leads into such a sentimental and heartfelt moment. I absolutely love it. Especially the last minute of the song with, with like Chungguk and V singing. Oh my God. Oh, it's so good. Oh my God, it's by far my favorite. I literally haven't stopped listening to it since it came out. I even like streamed it like three times this morning because yeah, I'm obsessed, but oh, Two Youth is so good. And Run BTS, let me tell you, I did not expect Run BTS to be that intense, y'all. Like, I honestly thought it was gonna be kind of a silly, goofy song because it was called Run BTS and that's like the name of their like show, you know? Which is like lighthearted and goofy. So I honestly thought it was gonna be like a goofy song for some reason, but nope, it's literally the opposite. It's like so intense and like, it really gets me going. Like, it's... Oh my god, I really like it though. Like, especially Yoongi's rap. He just goes full out on, on his rap in that song. Bruh, I'm obsessed. And then Born Singer, I know, again, it's a song that they already had released. To be honest though, I haven't listened to it before because um, I don't really like dig deep into like 
any artist's archives like that, like unreleased songs or stuff like that. So I didn't know about it. I know fake army moment, but I'm obsessed with that song too. It's so good. All the songs are just so freaking good. I'm, I'm loving this era so far and I can't wait to see what's next, you know, because they're doing a lot. They're actually promoting on music shows again, which I'm super excited about. Excited to see the performances. But yeah, okay, sorry I've been flipping through these photos kind of slow. I just been wanting to talk about everything that's been going on. But yeah, these photos are gorgeous. Oh my God, it's so cool though. I love their outfits, the pastels and like the prints. Oh my God. And then these like bad boy concepts, literally love it. Oh my God. Yeah, that was that. And then we have our third book, which curious to see what it is. The material's different. Epilogue. Oh, is this gonna be, oh, ooh. <gasps> is this gonna be another sort of scrapbook sort of thing? Wait, love that. <gasps> wow. It really does look like they were involved in like the process of making this album and this photo book, which is super cool. They're like looking at old pictures. <gasps> oh my God. Ooh. That, that must have been so cute though, to like look back at it, at their whole career and how far they've come. Love that for them. But yeah, oh, I forgot to mention also, like all of these songs just sound so like, triumphant i don't know if that's the right word it like it just sounds like and i hate to say this because i know it kind of indicates an ending which i'm not like saying but the songs just sound like a grand finale you know like i get that this is like an anthology album and like they're looking back at their careers and all that and it just seems like a like i don't know so grand you know the songs just seem so grand like a grand finale but i don't want to say finale because that indicates the end and I'm not saying that they're ending, but like, it just sounds so triumphant. And that's what I really like about it. And also the music video, oh my God, I, bruh, the music video, the, all the references to, reference, bruh, all their references to their past music videos and they were like reenacting scenes from like spring day and stuff. Oh my God. I just freaking love it when artists do stuff like that. It's so cool. Oh, looks like we get a behind the scenes look of the photo shoots that they did. I don't know why my voice is so like gone this morning. Sorry if I sound a little distant, my voice, but we have their little thanks to's. Oh my God. They all look so good though. <sighs> okay. And then the credits, but yeah, oh my God, these photos, these are probably my favorite sets of photos their outfits. I'm actually obsessed. All right. And then we have another booklet. This one is much thinner though. These are probably lyrics, right? Yep. <laughs> so we have their massive lyric book. I'll go through this a little quicker since it's just lyrics, but yeah, I mean, look at that. <laughs> Three freaking CDs, you know, we have all of their hits and then their new songs and then CD3. I'm just so sad that this is not available on streaming sites like i don't get why like ugh. literally last night i was like kind of listening to some of these on a google drive link because they weren't available online so yeah i didn't listen to everything though i'm excited to the ones i listened to so far are spring day uh dna and then boy in love i think those are the three that i listened to last night and Oh my god. It was not what I was expecting. Like, the, it's crazy how, like, demos can differ significantly from, like, the final song, you know? Yeah, it was not what I was expecting, but I really liked it. I loved the DNA, like, demo that J-Hope did. It's, it actually sounded really good, and I also really liked the Spring Day demo. Oh my god. It was, like, way different than the original song, but I freaking loved it. I just wish that they, like, released it on you know, official streaming sites because I actually want to listen to the songs like on Spotify and shit. But yeah, I guess I'll just resort to listening to it on Google Drive. <laughs> but yeah, I can't wait to listen to the rest of them though. Yeah, that was the lyrics. Now we are getting into these things. So it looks like these are the CDs. Again, love the hollow. Wow. Okay. So we have 
all the CDs here. Honestly, I might even whip out my CD player just to listen to this CD. <laughs> but yeah, it's like a nice soft mat too. Okay, it looks like we get a folded poster as well. Again, I'm not sure if like the Korean, if there's like a Korean press or an American press. Usually like international presses get like folded posters. So maybe the Korean press doesn't. Again, I'm not sure. Whoa. Oh my God, this poster is massive. <laughs> okay, sorry, this is not gonna fit completely in frame, but you get the gist of it. It's the same group shot, so yeah. Oh my God, that was terrible, sorry. All right, now we have this envelope, which I, again, assume has all of the inclusions. And this has another photo card set, which I am very excited about. I think this white one is the random card and these are the photo card set cards. <gasps> Oh my god, wait, I'm so excited. <gasps> Holy crap, these look so good already. Okay, so we have Taehyung's, who is my bias. Bruh, he looks so good. His hair. And these are like matte photo cards. Ooh. We have Namjoon. They're doing like the signature Pangtan pose. Oh my god. We have Jungkook. <laughs> oh my god. Yoongi. We have suction and the jewelry. I'm actually obsessed. I'm so happy they did it for this outfit. We have Hobie and then Jimin. <laughs> oh my god, I can't believe we got a whole set of these. Yes. Oh my god, they look so good. And then, oh yeah, we get a random member postcard and we got Hobie. Ooh, it's double sided. Did not expect that, but I really like that. Oh my god, so pretty. Okay. I think the last thing is the random card. Yeah, okay, let's see. One, two, three. Oh my god, Oh my god, wait, I saw these some of these cards on Twitter. The fact that they're like holding their old pictures, I'm actually obsessed. That makes me want to collect the whole set, but like, honestly, I don't think I can because considering this is the standard version and the standard version is hella expensive, that means the photo cards are going to be hella expensive, like... <laughs> why but yeah we got namjoon's ah, oh my god he looks so good okay let's move on to the compact edition all right now we have the compact edition of the album again really like the hollow it's a little bent i didn't even notice until after i bought it so that kind of sucks but whatever slide this out so Let's look through this photo book first, of course. Oh, oh, <laughs> that's the poster. Whoops. Okay, for the for a second, I was like, wait, the back looks so cool. So I'm assuming this is just like a like a compact edition of the whole photo book. You know, obviously, it's literally in the name. Okay, first we have the lyrics, which again, I'll just go through super quick. It's just the lyrics. Okay. Now we have the pictures. Ooh, wait, these are different from the standard edition, right? I don't remember it being so white. Ooh. This big ass chain though. <laughs> Looks so cool. Oh my goodness. Bruh, the fur coats. Oh my God. They're literally iced out as they should be. And then we have more <laughs> lyrics, bruh. Okay. Yeah, these photos again. Oh my goodness. How many li literally half of are you wait, that was it? Oh. <laughs> okay, then literally half of it was the lyrics. <laughs> Interesting. But yeah, now we have the thanks to's with the the pastel concept. But yeah, okay, that was short and sweet. They literally said compact edition. <laughs> now we have this mini folded poster. This time it's the pastel concept. Ooh, it's like a little square um, poster. Cute. Okay, and then we have the three CDs again in this like soft matte packaging. This time it's silver. Ooh. There she is. I saw this and I was very intrigued. I thought this was so cute. So it's like a little accordion booklet of their entire discography, like all their album arts. 
all of the titles and like an explanation of each of the albums which I freaking love. I honestly think you can like turn this into a cute little like decor in your room, you know, of all of their albums and such. They should have a proof. Surprised that they didn't, but yeah, this is so cute. Now we have the random inclusion starting off with the postcard. First of all, the back is really cool. <gasps> we got Jimin's post I almost had photo card postcard oh my god his hair slicked back like this he looks so good also, I also like the little like lights that go across their face that's really cool kind of looks like you're scanning him <laughs> now we have the random card the back is really pretty I like the silver oh <gasps> no way oh my god we got bias bruh okay we got Taehyung's photo card <gasps> He looks so pretty. Oh my god. Okay, sorry. It's not focusing, but oh my god. I can't believe it. Yeah. Anyways, that concludes this unboxing. All right, so that was my unboxing of BTS's proof. Thank you guys so much for watching. Again, I'm very excited to see what this era brings. Keep in mind, again, that I'm filming this literally like not even a whole 24 hours after the album came out. So obviously, you know. I don't know everything yet, but yeah, I'm very excited to see what this era brings. So anyways, thank you guys so much for watching. If you guys enjoyed, make sure you give this video a big thumbs up. Subscribe down below for more videos like this. And yeah, I'll see you guys all in the next video. Bye guys.